hello and welcome back so now in this video we will build our application or actually you can say our game in this tutorial I will tell you how to build your game you can watch many videos on how to build your game but let me show you the very simple way so first of all you need to check that you have added all of your scenes right here and accordingly okay our first scene will be the menu then we will have a mission then we will have a end game menu scene and these are all right here in my scenes folder once you have added all of them then you can simply click on this build setting right here you can build this for android or for ios or whatever you want for uh, the webgl if you want but for now as you can see this is a pc game and it has the pc inputs so we will create this for PC, Mac and Linux standalone. Right here you can select the target platform. There are so many options but we will leave that as default. And from here you can change the player settings. If you click on it, it will show you this. Right here you can write your company name. For example, I will type vcode IT. And right here you can type the name of the game or the product as you can see and right here you can uh, type the version and then you can add an icon for this as well so for example let's add an icon to our game as well so if you click on this sprites right here we will add this icon to it so it will now show this icon and you can add a cursor to it as you see in most of the games when we play it there are uh, cursor okay attached to that game right here as you can see this is for the icon and if you click on resolution and presentation right here you can make different changes let me make this as full screen window or actually okay let's just leave that as it is right here you can select different options let's make this a resizable window and then we have the splash screen you can actually um, add your own splash screen right here if you want and then you can click on preview and it will show the splash screen right there as you can see okay and you can add the animations and then you can choose the splash screen style let's select dark on light as you can see now this place can color is change let's select the light on dark and there are many options to change the background color of the background image for example let's add the background image as our main menu one okay so just simply drag and drop that in there you can set the overlay opacity as you can see let's make it fully visible like that okay let's click on preview now as you can see there is the screen okay let's make it one again okay like this it is fine you can remove this blur background image if you want and then it will show the background image like that then we have some other settings okay you can leave this as it is we have set all of the things up let me now close that and right here we can click on this build and we are inside our folder let's create a new folder in the TPS monitor style let's name this as game setup let me refresh it now let's select that folder and it will build the game as you can see it will now take a minute or two to build our game so just wait for it as you can see let me make the size bigger of this refresh it okay close that up let me now do that we have a clear console let me now open this game setup now as you can see we have the icon right there this is our game icon and now if we click on it it will play our game so let's just simply double click on it 
and as you can see it shows the splash screen and we are on our main menu as you can see it shows the animation ghost nameplate we have options right here play button option quit let's click on this play and as you can see we are redirected to our mission okay now if we press the escape button here is our pause menu and guys you will not see the rifle fully because I recorded the screen half so that's why you can't see the ammo and the magazine but I can see it on my screen okay so don't worry about that let me now click on this quit and as you can see I told you before that the application dot quit will not work in unity when we build our game now as you can see when we quit the game it just exact the game and close the application down let me play again as you can see here is the splash screen now let's click on this quit as you can see it shut down the application so now there are some tools and many other ways to make a setup out of this all and then you can upload your game to steam or whatever platform you want okay there are many ways to do that but we will leave that i just show you how to build your game and now you know how to build your game how to set the splash screen and all of that okay so with this done see you guys in the next video